This is for the uh, dividing line highlights, guys <laughs> and gals. Well, greetings and welcome to whatever's left of the dividing line. We are having uh, tremendous difficulties today. We have already recorded half an hour's worth of programming that went <laughs> off into nowhere. It just doesn't exist anywhere anymore. And it was great. It was some It was some of the, my best work. Uh, it honestly was. I will probably never get back to that level again. That's just... <laughs> All there is to it. And greetings, welcome to the dividing line. My name is James White. We're hoping this is going to work. We've had technical issues. Basically, nothing's working right today. So uh, that's that's how that works. And I'm just g g going like th this on the screen. So it's pretty bad. Yeah. Well, I'm I am definitely seeing a major herky jerky. Oh, reset the thing and. All right, I uh, will shoot for the bottom shoot it, of the hour. No, try if it I again. Shoot it, then we're definitely out. <laughs> well, um, hi. <laughs> just is this on? <laughs> we just. I'm gonna run into the wall here pretty soon. <laughs> just, I think my blood sugar levels are gonna just crash, and I'm just going. Dunk. So Rich says this came along before him, and so I was teaching. A Christian doctrines class. That's where you would have seen it. And in fact, that's where I first met you. And I still remember members only, maroon jacket, and Mr. Charismatic Scary Man. Um. <laughs> See, what this will do will help everybody pass the time during this crisis. If you can't go outside, you can't go anywhere, the, the best way to pass time is to start a meme war with Leighton Flowers. <laughs> because what better thing to be doing than to be talking about choice meats when you can't get any meat? <laughs> you hear the booing going on in the other room? Yes. Let me ask a simple question of you provisionists. Have you ever seen William Lane Craig with a triple, you've never seen William Lane. I, I would bet William Lane Craig doesn't know what a triple is. That's the horrible part about it all. And do, doesn't that tell you how you should, how you should vote on this? Um, free triples for all if you vote for me. It's Tribbleville. It shouldn't be called Twitter. It should be called Tribble. Oh, the battery died. <laughs> Either that or this is the one with the bomb in it. The Tim Keller Fanboy Club showed up, and all these memes. Oh, what a burn. Oh, wow. Slam. Man, White's never going to be able to type again. All his fingers are broken. And, you know, just all this incredibly childish stuff. I'm just sitting there going, you know, I need I need some matches. I need, I, you know, you're not allowed. Go get it, man. I think this is time. I think it's finally ready. Uh, you got it. You got <laughs> I'm letting far too many people know that I am a complete, utter geek. And I'm hungry. And so Rich it goes, when I say it's going to be a long show, it goes and gets food and is sitting in front of me eating. I'm telling you folks, you don't see the things that I see that help me in my, that help me in my sanctification. Thank you for helping me in my sanctification, Rich. So. I did discover something fascinating today. They have taco time. In Moscow, Idaho, I am so thrilled uh, to know that uh, when I go to Moscow, I will be able to eat um, food. <laughs> and you know, it's, the look I just got is worse than anything he's ever done about a Kuji. <laughs> I got a Sonic breakfast burrito with bacon. Yes, real bacon, not even veggie bacon. For those of you who are veggie bacon haters, man, there are a lot of veggie bacon haters. It's just, it's cultic. It's absolutely cultic. It is Amen. just an irrationality. It's hard to understand. Anyway, even Rich is going out out there. Amen. Amen. Oh, by the way, the the orange juice was ninety four point seven percent ice. I mean, I may have gotten two slurps. <laughs> that's that was expensive. Um, you know what? One of their primary religious duties and accomplishments as the elect was due to the Manichaean worldview. It's pooping out light so that the little sparks from the veggies you eat can go up and become part of the Milky Way and go to the moon into the sun and then into the realm of light. You're the weirdos. 
you look up at the sky and all you see is a glowing gray mass at night with a moon in it once in a while. And once in a while, you might see a bright dot, but you have no idea what in the world it is. That's extremely unusual. Almost anyone during the history of humankind walking outside at night would be stunned by excrement. Yeah. Hi. Welcome to The Dividing Line. This is, remember when I did the dividing line wearing the nice floral print bow tie? And uh, we just talked about how we loved everybody and, and freaked everybody out. Uh, yeah. So you can see how the mother's called thought, the father's called thinking. And so the result of the father and the mother is the son, which is the thought thinking about itself. In fact, I imagine Gnosticism probably makes more sense in Colorado. If we were walking down... So some of the streets I've been on in Boulder, um, after a few blocks, this would start making a little bit more sense. Yes, you don't have to go into any of the shops. Just walk on by, and it'll start making a little more sense. So as soon as I could drive, I started driving. <laughs> the, the brown bomb. You even remember the brown bomb because Paige had it for a while, right? Didn't we ever eventually take it out in the desert and shoot it because it wouldn't die any other way? I mean... <laughs> I mean, this is... Yeah, there are two light Ouch. That's that about the only way, in, way to do it. Rich says he's remembering something, which at his age is a very good thing. Obviously means he's been taking his Prevagen. <laughs> oh! Zing! Boom! Wow! I... <laughs> so... Coming to an end. Why are you doing that? How many years has he been doing this? I've lost track. It's just like forever. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> Test pattern. You're putting it up, son. We're going to have a split in the ministry. Bam, 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 bam. Five shots. <laughs> just killed Rich in another room. Um, look, look. Rich so you calm it. down, Rich. <laughs> Wait for it. Here you go. Welcome to The Dividing Line. My name is Rich Pierce, and I am sitting in for James. The old man is gone. He's dead, and he's buried. And accordingly, you are now hidden. Well, they work well. No, okay, I can hear you better now. How Big you've died. Is... You're dead to this world. There is to be nothing worldly about you. No one's uh, ever died of bleeps and blaps. <laughs> look, look. So you calm down, Rich. <laughs> It is, it is very comfortable here. It's, it's, it's I'm nice sure it is. Oh, I think we're just going to go ahead and switch. Here, come on in. <laughs> uh, make sure that you update the uh, computer so you can uh, get on with us uh, on the Reformed Gaming Network and play Fortnite. It'd be a, a great uh, boon and blast. <laughs> I'm a little old for that. Oh, no, you're never too old to play, uh, play a, a fun game. <laughs> How many thumbs down are we at? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Rich and I are still alive. <laughs> I was offering Rich uh, the Sumas right right inside the door there. It's I, I know exactly where it is. If you it's about yay wide, if you want to borrow it and do some reading and oh yeah, Rich said he'd rather have the monk's robe. Well, the, but the, it's reading the Suma while wearing the monk's robe. That's the the full thing. And if you walk in with a tonsure cut, then we know that things have gone really south, bad, big time. No thanks, I got to drive. All right. No. Wait till you're pushing sixty. And you won't remember quite as clearly. Well, some of you will. Some of you are savants. But you have no social life and you'll never get married either. So uh, <laughs> I'll, tra I'll trade that off, okay? I'll trade married life for being able to remember every single thing that I ever said in my life. That's uh, The worst thing is it's when your wife can remember every single thing you said in your life. And you can't. So you're, you're at her mercy. Pastor Jackson got up to start speaking. And I missed the first few words because there was nothing coming through the lavalier. Now, this was before there was wireless. And so I popped the pulpit mic on, and I'm like, where's the lav? Well, the other sound man, Buddy Havens is the name, and he jumps into the sound booth, and there's a full-size TV camera up there. He zooms in. There's no microphone on Pastor Jackson. He pans over to Jackson's chair, because you'd plug the lav in, and you'd hang it on the chair. 
and there it's swinging back and forth on the chair that he had completely forgotten to put the thing on. But he does not know this. And I'm a new sound guy. And Jackson would think you were doing it wrong because you're the new guy, even though you don't touch a thing. So right as clockwork, he takes a few steps to the left and pff, he's gone. And so you see his shoulders go down and he gets this disgusted look on his face. So he walks back to the pulpit and he goes like this. He goes, so is something wrong? <laughs> and he looks down and then you see him go like this. Whoop, looks back to his chair and there's the microphone hanging on his chair. And so he gets this grin on his face and he sort of looks up at everybody and he says, doesn't work very well if you don't put it on, huh? <laughs> and everybody in the audience is like, ha ha ha. In fact, Paul, he talks to the Colossians about our filling up the sufferings of Christ because we're in the body. I actually need to take a few steps back so when it explodes, you don't get any Pelagian goo on you. You know, that, that's what happens when you go full board Pelagian. But hey, I don't like where this is going. A, a serious inability to remain balanced. And I'm serious. <laughs> I forgot to turn my iPhone upside down. And I don't know what just happened, but I, but Siri, uh, when I said, oh, serious. Oh. <laughs> I guess that means Siri's reformed. Who knew? that at the end of a show on apostasy, we would discover <laughs> that Siri is actually a Calvinist. Well, and she said, I'm serious. So uh, we're, we're, we're going to have to believe her. Uh, Vody threatens to tear my arms off if I use that phrase. So I try not to uh, because he could. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Just they, they just pop right off. I'd be called Bob uh, after that. So around listening to this going, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. they did what? Oh, oh, it's, it's depressing. That's how you get out of depressions is wars. We're in a battle, folks. We are simply in a battle. 250% increase in homicide. How many there will be this weekend? Society is starting to see the hand. Oh, yeah. There are going to be big news stories over the next couple of years. I think Jeff's going to scare the Brits with his big man beard. <laughs> I bet you he has a gun right out of the sight of the view of the, of the camera. You know, that type of thing. This world has changed and has changed big time over the past six weeks. There is no neutral spot. There can't be a neutral spot. It's impossible. What you going to do when they come for you? Bad theology, bad theology. I'm sorry. And the choice is we're going to die together slowly and horrifically, or we will live. You can only do that if you're alive. Going, ah, ha, ha, I've got my theological shotgun ready to go for everybody who likes John Lennon. No, that, that's, we're doomed around uh, Rich's place right now. And we've got some big orange blobs heading our direction. If you're sitting here and thinking anything other than, oh God, only by your grace, then you're a fool. There's purple overs right now. So my car is floating on the street. Thanks. Appreciate it. Wow, look at that thing. We said just a few weeks ago this would happen. But oh no. Oh no, no, no. I told you. I told you. Full scale war. But we are in the midst of a revolution. And yet a lot of people are eaten up by it. And I I've just learned you will be eaten up by it. James. I don't even I don't even know. How, how do you respond? Um, for a long time, I've been saying we need consistency. Hey, this is us. Release the Kraken. Yeah, James. and and there's a James. whole crowd of them James. standing up and you're going, James. oh my goodness, there's, James. it's huge. James. We have decided to come clean and to show you the little Manichaean man who has been providing me with my biblical exegesis, the little Manichaean man was telling me, look at the parallels in the Greek grammar. This is what we taught Augustine too. <laughs> Ministry out here really until the street preachers uh, showed right. up and started, you know, and, and I, was the, I was the magnet for them. You, were, you became the target, not I became, that. Oh, get a white male! Consistency.
Rich? Is everything okay? Rick just crashed and died. <laughs> I feel like Baby Yoda right now. Feels good, man. If I ask you right now to define perichoresis or go to hell, uh, will your pulse rate go up just a little bit? No man can kill me. No, no. I'm thinking of some specific ladies. Wonderful, Christian, godly women. It will scratch your eyeballs out. It's true. Theology matters. It's consistency over time. I'm not a son of a prophet. <laughs> Jesus answered and said to them, May gongudzate met alelon. <laughs> Do not gungasmu amongst yourselves. <laughs> if you're a parent and you don't turn around and say to your kids in the back of the car, no gungasmooing back there. I'm... I don't know why I'm sitting here. What? What's my, what, what is my life even worth? You called me out by name. By name. You know it's indefensible. <laughs> when we look at this phrase, ego, I mean, the primary places you're going to find to Jesus' uses, which is John 8, 24, 8, 58, 13, 19, and 18, 5 through 6. In John, it's in Mark. When Jesus reveals himself as the I am when he's walking upon the water. And when you look at various versions of the Shema, and when the divine name of God, the covenant name of God, Yahweh, it wasn't really translated, it was sort of covered over in a sense. And the term that was used in the Greek scriptures was kurios, Lord. And what we know is there's one God, the Father, from whom are all things, and we for or unto him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and we through him. Consistency. Jesus answered them saying, if anyone serves me, the father will honor him. Rich? Back in here, I was hit in the head by a foul ball. And so I had a pretty severe concussion. And this is what drives all of you crazy. You know, I really do care about you guys. And I just muted myself and not the caller. Okay, there's... See you folks, you just don't see what I have to deal with. You just, you don't see it. Your script is lit. Your script is lit. Yeah, 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 that's Your it. word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Your script is lit. Yeah, yeah. Suit up. Don't play the bench, or you're straight up playing yourself. I Marco Poloed Cap G and he didn't leave me on red and snatched up all my scary. Don't flex on me, sis dude. Yeah. If I slip, I don't dip. When life goes on dark mode, Cap G keeps it lit. And if all of a sudden it just fades to black and the music starts, you'll you'll know uh, what happened. That the yeah. When it comes to spiritual things, this is what gives us the ability to see. When we don't use this as the lens, we will only have human traditions. Human guesses, nothing more, nothing more. So there you go. Um, I think I got to everything and hopefully all the rest of you found the discussion to be useful, maybe a little challenging, maybe a little weird, but hopefully useful. Um, these days, when we talk about we'll be back again next week, we're always wondering What's going to happen between now and then? Lord willing. Yeah, Lord willing. Deo Valente. Deo Valente. Um, because, I mean, I'm seeing more and more stuff about people who've been banned from YouTube and, and everything else. And I just think it's a matter of time. By the way, what that means is bookmark aomin.org. Get an RSS feed going. Aomin.org. Feedly. I, I set up Feedly and, and, and stuff. Um, because we're really going to look to try to head this off. Um, and it'll take them longer to get rid of us there than any place else. So aomin.org, bookmark it. If all of a sudden you don't see us on Facebook, you don't see us on Twitter, uh, obviously I'm on Parlay. And that may, that may be, you know, when the, when the big two go... That may be where we can do announcements and stuff like that. You know, we'll see. Uh, but um, Lord willing, 
Thanks for watching the program today. God bless. Hey, you just, just lost last hour's worth of work because you forgot to hit save. This is before programs had autosave in them. Believe it or not, there was a day before autosave. Um, and I am one of many, many of the ancient world who worked and worked and worked and typed and typed and typed, and then the lights flashed, and it all just went goodbye. <laughs>